it's exploded after ChatGPT rolled out generative AI, right? But we've been living with AI for a long time. And the uh, rudimentary machine learning that began to create models of us for social media, you replace the word model with clone, right? So we've been cloned by the by the pipeline, supposedly. So they're not pipelines, by the tech companies that connect us. We've been cloned and those clones have been put together by artificial intelligence to create the mother load database that does the micro-targeting, i.e. sells your weakest moment to a message to a company or a country and you're targeted, right? That's insidious manipulation. Um, did you know that? Did you know that you were cloned? Did you know that the company said, uh, well, since we use machine learning, we own your clone. We didn't give our permission. These are data privacy issues. But I think part of what's wrong in the United States is it looks at these as different issues, right? Data privacy is different from user safety, is different from content moderation. These are all the same. And the goal should be to protect our thoughts to, to protect us from insidious manipulation. Um, so that's the first. The harms of our first contact with AI have not been addressed. Not been addressed. And the danger has only gotten worse, especially for women, LGBTQ plus women of color. Uh, we are, there is coded bias because of the people who, who built the code, right? But the other problem is, if you're, an, if you're a reporter and you make a mistake, you're one reporter and one story. If you're an engineer and you make a mistake, you've just been replicated a million times, right? But you won't know until it, if you're working in two week sprints, then it'll be another week, but a month and a half. Right, so two weeks before you begin to see the impact on society. I think we have allowed tech companies to roll out code publicly. So it's real-time trials. Um, I, I use this example. Imagine if a pharmaceutical company um, tested the COVID-19 vaccine without testing. I mean, just gave it to the public, right? So it's like, oh, Pharmaceutical company A will give, you know, this side of the room vaccine A. They never tested it. And vaccine B goes to the other side. Oh, my gosh. Vaccine A people died. So sorry. That's what happened in Myanmar with genocide. Both the UN and Meta sent teams to investigate this, and they both said the same exact thing, that the platform, the tech company contributed to to the harms, to the genocide that happened. So these are all questions. The first generation, the first contact still hasn't been addressed. And now generative AI is going to make it so extremely simple to create worlds, to put words in your mouth, to make you, to, to separate our reality even, even more. And the biggest danger is what will happen with electoral fraud. And I use the word fraud because, you know, in the first generation of AI, when you have no integrity of facts, you will not have integrity of elections. If you're being insidiously manipulated, how do you know you have free will? 